imagine you had two objects that you want to use passes of like you know one needs to simulate and then the other one needs to simulate you can freeze them so let me go and simulate both of them for 60 frames which is with regular gravity it takes a tiny bit longer but that studio should just simulate both of them and imagine i'm happy with my left object i can go back and forth i don't really mind i say on here on this object now cloth number one i'll head over to the parameters tab and say hey this thing is awesome i don't want it to re-simulate i love the simulation as it is i want das studio to not touch it if i go and change parameters on the parameters tab under general there's a simulation tab and you can switch that to on so this means now the even though when i move the timeline my object is still going to move but the simulation itself isn't going to be re-simulated so it's kind of important to know about this if you have multiple deforce objects in your scene so look at that i can still move the timeline and it looks like nothing much has changed but you know if it had then the left hand side isn't going to be affected so let's take my second cloth the one that hasn't changed and let's go and move the ball above it and change the gravity of our whole simulation from one to minus one. And now if I go and re-simulate this thing, watch what happens. This is kind of exciting. It's my favorite thing. So it re-simulates, but even though I've clearly changed the gravity and the cloth goes up on the right-hand side, my left-hand side is completely untouched. So it still behaves as in the first simulation. So yeah, lots of fun with gravity you can have there. Really spooky effects. And then especially if you go and simulate this longer, now that these things, like a tablecloth, has fallen over a table, it just kind of moves away there. That's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of nice. Imagine that in a simulation. Very cool.